Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today, I will be reading another blog post from my website that I have written personally. Today's topic will be, I rose above the darkness. I am love. I am powerful. I am magical. I am divine. I am love. My light shines brighter than the sun. I am so bright. My soul blazes its passion and love. I am light. I am love. Love with bliss, love with light, love and in love. There is no law above, do what thou wilt. Love is the law, love under well. I must learn to control my reins. Do not let my reins blind me. I know, I now know, my intuition speaks to me through my emotions. And so my ex was a fool to tell me I need to control my reins and that I was blinded by my reins. I am. So glad to be rid of all the toxic people again. It feels good to return to balance, to return back into love. I am glad I listened to my soul. My soul speaks in its rage. My soul speaks to me through my emotions. My emotions are my intuition. Always listen to your gut. Always go with what your soul is trying to tell you. I am glad I can tell the difference between an enemy versus a real friend. Soul tribe versus people I do not vibe with. And that goes to the first post I read which was about I saying I rented to a guy who complimented me, then told me to shut up when I tried to tell him thank you. And that just goes back to the first post I read today. Always listen to what your soul is telling you. Energy speaks the loudest. Your emotion ties into your charisma, which is, again, ties back into your aura. Energy speaks the loudest, and my rage, why try to control your rage? Listen to what you are saying in your rage. What are you? Why are you mad? Then figure out how to prevent it from happening in the future. Example, I am mad because someone said I was ugly. Well, do not listen to the bullies. Do not try to defend yourself and talk back to them. Rise above the bullies, block them, ban them, ignore them, move on. However, if you're mad when a guy compliments you and you try to say thank you and he tells you to shut up, that, that is something you need to pay attention to. And that is what my rage was trying to tell me. Do I not block him or do I keep him as a friend? My, in my rage, I said to hell with that guy who told me to shut up when I Try to thank him for giving me a compliment. And so I blocked him on my Facebook. And then I noticed his energy I could not stand after our conversation was done. In my veins, I found out everything I needed to know. My ex was wrong to tell me I need to stop being angry and that I was blinded in my rage and such stupid things. Pay attention to what you say.
always in your anger. Your soul is trying to tell you something that you need to pay attention to. I know I had my blackouts when I spoke to my ex when we were having big fat arguments over something stupid. We both said things we do not remember. However, if you do remember what you are saying in your anger, then that means something. It means you are conscious in your anger and there was a lesson though, or something you need to know about. However, if you're on a completely blackout, then I, I don't know what that means. Um, I have had moments where I did blackouts yelling at my ex on Facebook over something stupid, and I'm glad to be rid of him for good, for good now. Um, I no longer feel his energy anymore. It's, it's gone. I just constantly reflect every now and then, which is okay. It just means I, I don't know, I probably still need to learn something. Since I am going to compile this into one long video, this post will make more sense because it ties into the first post I've read. Yay. So, yeah. Again, this was just a note for my to myself for why I ranted for a whole day and could not get over it until I said my whole truth all of what I needed to say. Afterward, I felt better. I felt clear, clarity, peace, balance. After that whole raven mess for a day subsided. And then looking back, yeah, I can t see that he was an enemy, he needed to be blocked, I needed to tell my soul every- to relay everything my soul was trying to tell- <laughs> to tell me, and yeah, after I blocked him, I felt 100% better. So, if you are raving at a person, it's not wor- well, do rave, you cannot control your anger, I've tried for years. I can't control my anger, there's no way, I'm a fire. Firestorm when I'm super mad or when things get under my skin. I, if, if you attack me, I will be a raging mess for a day. I mean, come on. You literally attacked my soul. Who I am, what I stand for, and I'm not gonna let that slide. Did I defend myself? No, I, I blocked him, then I went on a raging mess for a day. Um, but. I needed to tell, speak my truth, all of it, to feel better. And once that whole raging mess was done and over with, I looked back, deleted it, moved on, made these uh, two blog posts on it, moved on, and felt 100% better. So if you were angry and raging for a day, so be it. I mean, you can't control yourself. You can try. I've tried. I can still get pissy and uh, go on a rant mate <laughs> rant maids <laughs> rant rave for a day because I, I cannot control my anger. My soul is telling me something. I need to listen and see what the heck is up. I know I've seen multiple photo memes saying, hey, learn to control your anger. My question is, how do you control your emotions? What happens if you thrive on your intuition with your emotion? What then? Everyone, maybe you can control your emotion, maybe you cannot. Maybe you can't because your intuition is in your emotion. Because mine, when I am in anger, I know my soul is trying to tell me something now. It, my soul is saying, hey, this person is toxic to you. Get rid of him or her. Delete this toxic person. 
if you feel sad, remove this person. I mean, if they are making you sad, like telling you something to make you sad, because I've had that happen too. My ex made me cry, and that that is toxic. And every time I raised at him, I should have just blocked him and walked away. Why did I not? <sighs> Again, that goes back to him controlling his reality, said I was the one doing it. No, it was him. Until we finally realized that and stopped, because I no longer feel his energy on me. Everything he is, what he was, gone in my head. I forgot him completely. It's all good. And this just is a reflection to that. To tell you, I learned my mistake. This is my lesson learned. Do not make the same mistake I made. And that is why I could constantly uh, talk about it and draw back to it. Because it is just telling me, hey, this happened because you needed to learn this lesson. And now you can go back to it relay it over and over and over again, constantly reflect, so you do not make that mistake again. The scar is there. It means you were stronger than it. You learned what you needed. Now you can teach it to others and hope that they do not make the same mistake or help them get out of the, that mistake. So, yeah, um, that was the ending comment to that, and oh my god, I've done how many videos now? Not one after the other, um, so it was... Apparently around six or seven. Not bad. No. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not bad. My most <laughs> awesome. Today's just been a crazy, and um, I needed to read more and more from my blog, and that's what I did today. So, yeah. Am I done? I have no idea. I could read another one. Or I'm done. I'm not sure yet. Until we meet again, my friends. Namaste, my friends. Thank you for watching and reaching the end. If you are not subscribed, please do so to not miss out on new content. And hit that like button to show your support for the channel. Leave a comment down below. I love interacting with my friends.